We've taken a conventional plunger with the exact same dimensions and put it into the system. Here is a shear pin. Here's the top connector with the 60 thousandths gap. Below that is the conventional plunger. Below that is the traveling valve. Below that is the simulated well bore with sand and water. There is so much sand falling into the gap that it is beginning to bind up the pump. Pay attention to the shear pin above the connector. Only five strokes and we are wedged solid. Notice how the sand is still settling out of solution and falling into the gap. This will continue to wedge the plunger even more. This plastic tube had to be broken in order to remove the plunger.